Hi guys, and welcome to the second contrast linker spiel. In this video, I'll teach you how to use these two linkers to join two contrasting ideas together. Because life's full of contrast, or as Dickens would say, there are dark shadows on the earth, but its lights are stronger in the contrast. These linkers usually appear at the beginning of a sentence and they can be followed by a noun phrase, an ing verb, or the expression the fact that and a clause. Then a comma and the second part of a sentence will be another clause. Let's look at these three structures separately. As I taught you, despite or in spite of can be followed by a noun phrase. That is a noun, a pronoun, a determiner plus noun, and then a comma, and after that a clause. As in, despite all my efforts and my hard work, I only managed to pass a test by the skin of my teeth. Or, in spite of her angelic face, she can be wicked bad. You see the contrast? She looks nice, but she's spitting her classmates' food. Now watch out and be very careful not to mix them both together and say something like, despite of... Okay, the second structure that we can use is despite or in spite of, followed by a verb ending ing, gerund, as in, despite being the most patient person I know, my teacher lost it yesterday. Even though she is calm, cool and collected, yesterday we drove her crazy. Or, in spite of not having revised for the test, I passed with flying colors. Although I didn't study at all, I aced my test. It is also quite common to use these linkers with the expression the fact that and then a clause. As in, despite the fact that I'm a teacher, there's still a lot that I have to learn. Just like it happens with although, even though, and though, they can be used either at the beginning or in the middle of a sentence. But when the contrast clause comes second, there is no comma anymore. I'm still tired despite sleeping nine hours every day. Now, as usual, let's check what you've learned today. Anya and Ellen will express two contrasting ideas and you've got to decide how to complete the sentences bearing in mind the different structures that you've learned. Mom, I know it's windy, but I want to go to the beach. Despite the wind, or despite being windy, Anya wanted to go to the beach. I know that I smell like a monkey, but I don't want to have a shower. <laughs> cool, you said it. Alan refused to have a shower in spite of the fact that he smelled like a monkey. Okay, so that was pretty much it for a second contrast linker spiel. Hope it helped you get familiar with the use of despite and in spite of and make sure you don't miss any of the next videos in which we'll deal with some more contrast linkers. Have a lovely day!